there was a famous quote. I can't remember exactly how it goes. Essentially, he's saying that the it's not about taking massive action because oftentimes if you can take massive action, we're running very enthusiastically towards the wrong direction. So how would you advise someone you know, as a gut check, as a sanity check, that they're not just taking massive action, but they're going down the wrong direction? This is why it's so important to see flow as not just an external thing, uh, trying to accomplish things, trying to overcome your challenges, trying to masculinize it, like a conquer things, but mm -hmm. also as this sort of maybe more receptive or feminine, just to use those words, aspect of receptivity, of understanding what you're feeling and how that's influencing your choices. I think that we can, I'm not sure what I want to say about that. It, it comes back to knowing ourselves. And if we know ourselves, then we'll be taking action, like in the Lorax process, listen, open, reflect, and release. That helps us know ourselves. And then from there, the action that comes is more aligned with both ourselves and what we really want, and also with the circumstances outside of us. Let me use another metaphor they use in your book. You use a metaphor of an acorn. Is it an acorn? Anyways, a tree, right? A seed that you planted. Before the trees start to get rooted and blossom, there's a period be between getting planted and actually start to get rooted and blossom and sprouted and, and yeah. grow into an oak tree, right? Yeah. So that is, so when the sprouts is going, that's quote unquote traction. So there's a little bit of a faith between being planted to sprouting. So that period is what, I, what I'm talking about. How does one discern something is happening? You just don't see, you can't see the evidence of it yet versus you're going down the wrong direction is essentially what I'm trying just articulate. Yeah. I, I think that in my experience, that is where the doubt comes in. So think about the, the quantum mechanics. If I was to explain it in the simplest terms, quantum mechanics is a study of what the world is doing when you're not watching it. Yes. How is the world unfolding when you're not observing? So mm -hmm. the way I want you to think about your experiences is like a fence and there's fence posts in the ground every, every so often. And in between the fence posts, what? There's this empty space with just a string or a wire. The fence posts are your actual experiences. Those are the things, those are the things that you can know for sure you actually witnessed and you actually experienced. Everything else is uncertain. And now the normal way of think, thinking is that everything else that happens in between my observations is unknown to me, but it happens. Like what's the world doing when I'm not looking? Well, it's still happening. Mm -hmm. But what quantum mechanics really is saying, at, at least at the particle level, is that in between those measurements we make, it's unfolding into all the possibilities like a tree. Mm -hmm. It's not actually in one of them. And so there's this sort of liminal space of uncertainty or possibility, which isn't like our regular world. And I want your listeners to think about their lives also in the same way. What you're observing right now is what you can say is reality. This is the fence post. It's not until the next fence post that I'm going to be able to, to say what I know for sure. Like I send off that resume, that's a fence post, right? I know I've sent it. I might get an email back saying, hey, we received this. Thank you for sending it. That's a fence post. I know for sure. Mm -hmm. In between that and the next interaction is this space that I don't know what to do with. And my tendency might be to feel like they're taking too long to get back to me. They probably decided to pass. And so then I might have a pattern in my life of being like, oh, forget it. I, I'm not going to keep trying. Really what I would advise is to recognize that you're in this liminal space where there's these possibilities unfolding. And what, what you can do is invest yourself. Keep working, building that momentum. I think about pedaling a bicycle. Keep pedaling your bicycle. You don't need to look back and see who's gotten back to you and check your email a hundred times a day. Keep training yourself. If you want to do a job in a field, then keep learning about that field. Keep becoming better at what you do. Keep sending out more resumes. Don't hang your hat on any one piece of it because that actually stops the process of building momentum. Your mm -hmm. job is just to keep building that momentum, even when you don't know. And so it ties into this idea of having faith in a process that it will unfold when the timing is at some point. And in the meantime, who do you want to be?